everyone welcome, welcome back, back. <laughs> that was not rehearsed by no, the way it wasn't not at all we but are we oh my usually, god i was gonna say we are like youtube <laughs> no but we you know. usually like from time to time we do something special yeah. you see how we like just got that yeah like right away like i, I didn't i swear we didn't plan it but um welcome guy wow <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back, back, guys, to episode two of It's Amigas Uncensored. Uncensored. What the Ooh. fuck is going on today? We've been like so on point. This is great. Look at us. Already getting comfortable with the podcast. With the mics. I know you guys can hear me better this time because last time I wasn't close to the mic because that was a whole situation. So I was sitting on top of like a crate because it was just, I didn't have a seat pretty much. I was sitting on top of a crate. And we figured out my seating situation a lot better. So I hope you guys can hear me better. And I'm speaking a little more into the mic. So, guys, first of all, how was your day? Um, I pre- had a pretty regular day. I didn't do nothing crazy, you know. Went to work. Then did more of my own work. And then I'm doing more of my own work right now. Right now. My day was kind of weird. On my way home from work, there was, like, I was on Elmwood, right? And there was these, like, I'm, like, driving, and there's these two young girls who are, like, look like they're on the sidewalk still, but they look like they're going to walk, um, like, um, across the street, walk across the street, but then Mm -hmm. they don't because they're still on the sidewalk. So I'm getting closer and closer, right? This is me. This is them. Mm -hmm. They're on the sidewalk, and I'm, like, (laughs) right here. The minute I get, they Closer, they start walking, and I, like, like... Hit your brakes. Yeah, super, super hard, and I, like, start beeping. I didn't want to, but I'm just like, what is wrong with you? Were they tiny, like, like teenies, or... Yeah, they, they were like, young. What the hell? I wonder what they and were deciding on. they didn't even look back or anything. They just started laughing, and I'm like... What? I hope, that, I hope they're not playing this new game where they're just crossing last minute for people to, Somebody's like, dead ass gonna hit them. You know, yeah, somebody... Yeah, that's why. Like, somebody just got ran over on Broadway. Some, some, um... It was an older guy from the clubs. He literally... Oh, I saw that. He literally got, like, rammed. Like, I'm surprised he, he was still alive after that because I know he died, I think. Don't quote me, but I know he died later on in the hospital, but people yeah, shouldn't... If that's a game, if that's, like, this new little please, trend... Please, that's please. Not even, that's not funny. That's not and funny. I was just like, I don't understand. I almost got out the car like a mom, and I just want to be like, girls, I don't think this is funny because... There's people the that drive. The fact that, like, I'm driving, I'm driving at a a good speed. Like, I'm not driving super super fast. So, like, I had enough time to hit the brakes. But if somebody, especially on Elmwood, people love to go really fast. So please, children, please don't don't. That's not a game. And then and then the driver is always in the wrong. Literally. Like you could just you could just ruin somebody's whole life by playing these type of games. I hope that's not a new yeah, trend that's going on. No. Cause that's a really corny trend and then not only that somebody's brakes can just go too like sometimes you just don't get that much luck when you stop right away like Mm -hmm. mad close to the to the freaking whatever you have to stop in front of i hope that's not a trend that's kind of crazy these young and yo these young kids are different from yo they're so different like Like, so different they're so different from when we were young i i feel like i didn't do none of the corny stuff people are doing now now that you but know, we like kids. who knows like you know we're just not it no more so it might not be corny like, to what? it might be corny to us but it's like not corny to them because that's say we're just old. like that's crazy that we're like not it because i feel mad young still like no literally i feel like me and the youngins can hang like, and we're just the same like right until you hang with them and it's just like nah you're old nah. sis no i'm not I'm For not real. old, and I know how to do TikTok dances, and that's it. And my mom still helps Period. me when I have cramps in the middle <laughs> of the night. She makes me a sopa. Right. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I, I really don't feel like I'm old. I know I'm getting there, but, like, I don't feel old. Like, I still feel like I can hang. Right, till you drink. <laughs> People still ID me. you drink Casamigos. I know, then it's like, oh, oh my Patrol. God. When I was with the kids today, I said something. I was on the phone with you, and I said something. Did I said... <laughs> I said a story on how I beat on myself once because I was lit. And they all looked at me like, <laughs> whoa. And I'm like, oh, whoa. I forgot I was with you, little corns. That's <laughs> hilarious. Ex- well, I did expose myself. I was going to say almost expose myself, but I did. Like, oh, I was not supposed to say all that. I was talking way too much. I was chatting. But no, their kids today, they're just so different. Like, I just feel I like we know, were so like, much more mature. 
I don't even know what kind of music they're into. Like, you know? <coughs> it's like the randomest it's like the randomest things that they're into. Like when I actually stop in here, I'm like, but what is this? Who's this artist? I don't even know who this artist is. No, literally. I don't know. I don't know. And then some songs they're actually into. And it's so crazy though when you like let them know that you like, you know, I know who Pop Smoke is. Like I listen to Pop Smoke. I know, so but they real? listen to the TikTok pop smoke when they you do listen to, to it. Yeah, like I've noticed that when they do listen to like pop smoke, it's not like the the pop smoke that we listen to. It's like the the trendy pop smoke songs. Oh, uh, they don't know. So I feel like know. it's like the TikTok ones. They don't know what's up. For they don't real. know who who. I be like, you listen to Snow Allegra? Who's that? Get with it, cause at that age, mm-hmm. I I was listening to Adele, middle school, going ham, me and Jenny. On the album, calling each other. Yeah, on I wasn't the phone, even listening singing. to that. I wasn't listening to that. What was I listening to? Aventura. I was a hick. <laughs> like Aventura and stuff like that. I think that's all I was listening to. I can't really remember what I was listening to back in the day. And like um, reggaeton. I was a real reggaeton. I know all of it word for word. I was Puerto Rican back in the day, guys. Nah, what were you, what something that you used to do back in the day, like with your friends? Like I know me and Jenny, we used to dead ass call each other. To sing, and we used to go to the shower and sing. <laughs> it was like this artist called Ana something. Ana Gabriel. I don't know. I don't know. Is it like the old school Dominican? No, 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 oh, no. Okay. It was like her name started with an A, and she has like I don't know. But we used to sing her song all the time in Spanish, like two little hicks. I don't know. I I know there was a bunch <laughs> of corny stuff that I did. I can't. Oh, okay, okay. So we. I wouldn't really say that's one because that counts as all of us. Even though you guys weren't apart, when me and Scarlett threw a party and nobody came and bought like a whole full sheet cake and nobody came to our party, Did we used to just a graduation party. Yes, that nobody came to. <laughs> like <laughs> nah, I think one, I think it was like Moises or something. One person came, just one, <laughs> one. But we bought a sh- like we bought a whole sheet cake. Like and not only that, you know, what we used to do we used to do professional photo shoots. Me, Scarlett, and Amanda. With your dad's camera, huh? No, no, professional oh, at I Macy's. Th- oh, we did one at Macy's. Me, Scarlett, and God. Amanda. We did one at Macy's, and then me and Scarlett did one at Walmart. Professional pictures, and we had huge pictures and everything. And it was like we thought we were it. That's and crazy. then we also did like when the new Jordans came out, we took pictures with my dad's professional camera. In the hotel, in the Omni Hotel. Oh, now I remember those those pictures clear. How just feel? How just feel? How just feel? I was, I was burning. You guys had the white shirts with the jeans and I the Jordans. I had Jordan a Rockaway on. belt, and I thought I was it. I was Vine burning. Stones. I'm not gonna lie. I I saw those pictures and I said, "Damn!" Like I had bell bottoms. Fire. Guys, we were so thirsty. We wore those like the, those sneakers came out on Saturday, and we wore like we took them out the box, showered. Got dolled up with my mean mustache and my bushy ass eyebrows, and um, we went straight to the mall to take pictures. We look mad Period. crazy, but at the time we were oof, we were on fire. We thought that was like wow. My rockwear belt, nobody was telling me nothing. Actually, it was my sister's rockwear belt, and I used to steal it. Oh my god, my voice is cracking. Damn. Nah, back in the day was it, yo. Remember, remember. So um, back in the day, we all used to be like, oh, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get that, and. We all had screen name belts, and we were like it. Like we were it. You didn't have a screen I, name I, belt. I didn't. I didn't. I you didn't have a screen name belt. No, you didn't have a I name belt at all. I didn't have a name belt. That's one thing I didn't. I think I had one that you said just sexy. didn't want it. Oh no! <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I know I didn't have one. No, I did have I a know, name. You belt. must have had a name belt, even if it was just a regular one, letter per letter. But I know you. I had don't know. To. I had everybody to have had a name, name belt. belt, and Yo, you had name all the belts, things. Though, like that's crazy. So let me tell you, motherfuckers, dead ass used to wear name belts. Yes. So so. For so all my Providence people, I got my name belt at Game Freak. Everybody knows Game that. Freak. And it was $5 per letter. And I wanted my whole name because I feel like the longer your name was, like, the more cool it looked. Even though I hated my full name. Like, it was ugly. But my parents said, no. Tu va poner un nombre, your, your short name, pretty much. And I was like, all right, but I need the Dominican flag on it. And I thought I was it when I went to school. I was touching my belt like, oh, my God, this belt. So people come look. <laughs> I'm such a god. Guys, if you hear something in the background, it's my mom trying. 
But anyways, and then the screen name bell, I got it in the corner store in Washington Park. It was a blue one, and it was the same thing. I remember walking down to the gym, and I wanted the little boys to see it from the class because, you know, to the boys, you got to look cool. Mm-hmm. And I remember sh- I was shaking the bell like, oh, this belt is so annoying. This belt <laughs> is so annoying. Oh, my God, because nobody has say- said nothing to me like, yo, you got the bell, kid. Nobody <laughs> has said nothing. And I think I was the first person in the class that had the screen name belt. So I really wanted to freaking show off. I think I was in fifth grade. Yeah, that, I that really, really wanted to show off. I was like, yo, what the heck? Why has, hasn't nobody said nothing about my name belt? Like. And I was souped until somebody said it like, oh, your shit's cool. You got a name belt. And I was like, oh, yeah, regular shit type. I was mad souped, though. I begged for that shit. I damn near cried for that shit. Um, I didn't have a name belt, but I did have the the little sandals with the little flowers that you just slip in. Mm -hmm. I had those. I had those. I had those. I had also the... um, what we used to call them, them little slides that you literally strap. They were the, the, crazy. The chinito slides. Yeah, the ones we call them chinitos. chinitos. You chinito got, slides. Girl, ladies, you know what we're talking about. The little chinito slides. I had them in only lime green. I had them in black. And I lime remember, green, though? Like, I remember fifth grade. Like, you know, I was always a quiet kid. I was never in the mix. Like, this is when, when like, we all knew who we was, but we wasn't really. It was until, like. Till till the great afters when we, we really all started hitting it off. But mm-hmm. this is when, like, I used to look at all the popular kids. I was that kid, guys. I know. Mm-hmm. I'm still quiet as fuck, by the way. I'm still the same exact person. Um, I would, like, look in the back. But I was always in the circle because I always had shit. But, yeah. like, I was a quiet you had one. To, you had to have had so, shit like, to be cool. So, like, you, I would, it's just, like, they knew, like, damn, she got, she got this, like. So, she's So, in. they know so this, you know what I mean? Um, But I had the little slides, and I used to wear this green shirt. And that outfit was so popping that I used to wear it every Friday. And some girl came up to me. She was, like, the most popular person. She, she was, was like, the mean friend. girl. And she comes up to me and she goes, you wear that every Friday. <laughs> Yo, I was so oh embarrassed. My God. I was so I fucking embarrassed. I don't know where to put myself. Nah, I, I, man. Yeah. Them were the days, though. We used to, we used to celebrate everything back in the day. Yeah. Like, we literally celebrated Valentine's Day. Guys, when I tell you, we all went to the Chinitos. And we got pointy shoes, mm-hmm. shiny. I got quinceañera um, moose curls. Like, we used to go hard with the celebrations back in the day. Like, we went in, and guys, I do Literally. have pictures, so maybe on another video I can show you guys pictures. I don't feel like looking for them and inserting them for the YouTube watchers, but we had a good childhood. We still go over each other's houses. We were retro. Literally. Remember our retro days? Wow, well, you know my what brother? saved me? Yeah, I was going to say, you know what saved me and kept me cool? That I had double the things because I used to steal it from my sister Jeez. after she went to school. Like, I used to just sneak it, put it in my book bag, and then wear it. So, yep. it made me look like I had mad shit. That's an advantage. And my brother, he used to have his little things. Like, he had the little the seat accessories. Belt, the seatbelt belt. I used mm-hmm. to rock that heavy. Like I was, He used to just even, let you? No, I used to take it, too. And he used to spaz? I don't even remember. I think I was so sneaky Yo, that I remember, used to put it right, back. Let me put my mic down. You remember Delia's? Dillias was that in the mall the store Dillias and they always had the sweaters with that had the the pocket that you could put your thumb through. Nah, you never shot that Dillias. If you show me a picture, let me see, let me see if I can pull it up. Yeah, Dillias or Dillias. Dill- I I know somebody knows what Dillias is. It had popping retro clothes. Dillias. Let's see. I'm just looking it up, guys. Dillias logo. Nah, man. This oh yeah yo it had all the fire 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 like but Dillias was expensive so you had to go look for the deals and we used to be heavy in Dillias and West Seal look at what popped up West Seal that's crazy though that like back in the day when I was young my mom used to only shop at Gap yeah when I was little was little weird. it was Gap but once I was like in middle school that I got oh, the middle choice, school it was Dillias and it was West Seal I used to go to pay half OD. I didn't learn about pay half until I was over eighteen. I didn't know what that's. I thought pay half was a was um a, like a supermarket. Pay half had the had the shits. Y'all know, y'all know. Pay half has some. Is that store shit. still open? I think I've been in pay half like three times. In I my think whole they life. closed it down finally, but 
pay half was really it, yo. You used to find out. Man, Remember AJ shit. Wright? AJ Wright. AJ Wright had all of yo. it. But I low-key used to get to with my mom used to be like, oh, let's go first day of school shopping and AJ Wright. Like, mm-mm. I'm already used to limited two. I'm already used to all them type of stores. Like, don't take me to no AJ Wright. That's poor. Damn, that's crazy. But I, I was never, in there. I barely went to limited two because I couldn't be there. I was at AJ Wright heavy. Yeah, my mom used to be heavy limited two on us. Real AJ Wright. Real Marshalls. Marshalls, I said yep. that's so Island Marshalls. Speaking TJ Maxx and shit. Yeah. Gap. Damn. As a kid, I it was it was definitely Gap. I used to get all my first year of school backpacks at Gap, and then it was limited to, and then I was just old enough to know better. And I was in my retro days, and I thought I was it. I really thought I was it. Like, guys, if I show you guys the the back back in the day pictures of throwbacks, you'll be like, yo, this girl's wildin'. Like, but whatever. We you were, don't think we it's kind of crazy that like Gap is so expensive now? Compared you don't think it was expensive when we were there? I don't know, I mean, cause like, we there, damn, like, ma, you could buy this. Like, Gap I know is that's what I'm crazy. saying. I feel like Gap has always been expensive. Maybe not as expensive, but I feel like Gap has always been expensive, yeah. and that's why I felt like I was like, Ooh, wow, my mom's rich, cause she's helping out Gap, and Gap shit is always good. Mm-hmm. Gap has always had a good name on its on its on its own. That didn't make sense, but whatever. Yo, but the hairstyles, though, back in the day, what, oh was, my your, what God. was your go-to hairstyle? My go-to, all right, so let's talk about elementary school. So elementary school, I had a lot of hair. I still have a lot of hair. And I didn't know how to really do my hair, but I didn't want my mom to do my hair. So I used to always stick with the um ponytail that goes all the way back with the little baby hairs on the side. And then as I got a little older and I evolved to, like, fifth, sixth grade, I used to do the same hairstyle, but it had curly over here, like, on the top. It was, like, curly oh on the top. My and then God. it was, like, the swoops on the side. And then I evolved to the humps. Oh, And after yeah. the humps, it ain't was nobody telling me nothing. And then after the hump, I did the um the curly hair with straight, straight bangs. Straight freaking oh. bangs, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought I was it. I dead ass. So when I was young, young though, my hair was just always in a braid, like young, young, like like, like a ponytail get, and a braid, or just a ponytail. I mean, a braid going get, down. I used to get actual like braids done, like my braids done from my mom's friend, um, my mom's daughter's friend. But then after a while, like I guess she like gave up on my shit. Like mm-hmm. I started doing my own shit. So then I used to do like this fucking just ponytail to the back. Forehead looking wild, <laughs> wild big, and then I used to just take the right here, the little, little baby hairs on the side. Yeah, right yo, that's why I feel like I have no edges today. Like, no, I have edges, but like, not that I don't have edges. I had just my hair right here, it's just it's thinned just out, a thinned bit. out because I used to pull. So, baby girls, don't yeah, I, oh, every time I see see the the the, the youth, the, the the young girls with their hair super tight, I'd be like, no. Die. Yo, nowadays, no. these little girls are in elementary school and their hairs are dyed. Like, oh, mm-hmm. we had to be 15. Yeah. Not even because I remember I did it without permission. I turned 15. I still wasn't allowed to do it. And I just did it without permission and I got in wild trouble. But these little girls are like 11 and their hair, they have highlights. Like, yep. what? So what is wrong with these parents? I think I know that is like. We're kind of like the new generation as parents now. Oh, oh my god, god that sounds so really weird. crazy. Oh my god, like, what are you talking about? I'm a baby, and it's like I feel like our parents are more old school mm-hmm. with it, so I think that's the difference. But I would never, I think I'm gonna go old school with my kids. No, you're not touching your hair, and if you touch your hair, you're gonna get an ass whooping, sis, because you're not, you're, you're literally gonna thank me later. Literally, literally, it, every anytime I do see, I try to educate, you know. Yeah, the kids and, and even and though they don't be listening, the youth about you know hair textures and styles that you could put your hair in and different things because you know we gotta take care of our stuff. We gotta take care of it. Mm-hmm. This is this is you know our hair hair is tells a lot. It tells and a story. Remember the the when we were young, the hairstyles the boys boys used to have braids. It was braids, oh, slick yeah. back braids. Yep, like I this. said slick back. Um, if not, just a haircut now. What's up with the little haircuts of the little boys nowadays? It's literally that paintbrush haircut. It's so ugly. Yep, it's like, it's like, that's the new thing. It's like, that's it's all shaped throughout the whole, the back, the the sides, and the whole nine. And then on top is like this big poof. It looks, it literally looks like a, a blush brush. It really does. It <laughs> and does. it's like, 
but that's what's in like, yeah and the crazy. little girls be like no don't cut it leave your hair like that and it'd be like ew bro that's not it do some little bra- like take all that hand do some little braids going down or something like yeah. that looks mad wild and god forbid you tell them to cut that hair like they will get on you like i don't know i'm not cutting my hair right i'm never cutting my hair i think the hair sounds so ugly who agrees with me I, I I agree. agree. I think it, it it looks cute to a certain extent, mm-hmm. but then Sometimes some of them just big. have it way too way too like mm-hmm. up here, and it's just like I don't know. That's not it. That's I don't know it. because the thing is that it's not flowing straight, baby boy. It's going to the side, and if it can't stay straight, mm-hmm. then you gotta cut it. Babe. I don't like it. I don't like it, no. and I'm just. I feel like later on they're gonna be like, "Whoa, what the hell was I thinking?" But I mean, we. Feel I mean, like to that. each his own, man. Right. I don't we care like if, 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 if y'all people. if y'all if y'all peoples like it, and that's all that matters, I guess you know. Yeah, it's just a new generation thing. It's like, it's like if, like the music our parents used to listen to when they were cleaning on Saturdays is like, "Yo, what are you listening to?" And it's like low key, I could bump to that now. It's so crazy, like I low key. Know. I'm just like, oh, I kind of know the words of this, and like I don't hate it, I don't mind it. So, it's probably going to be the same thing. I literally, uh, when we were playing Aventura here, I knew all, most of the mm-hmm. songs. And you know me. I'm just usually like, back in the day, I used to just listen to a lot of um, Spanish music. So, yeah, I was heavy um, on Spanish music. Bachata, like Aventura and stuff like that. Like, um, We Singing Ande. I was I so, Rakimiken, why? Joel y Randy. Yo. Tito el Bambino. Oh Yo, Tito. There was Alcan. Oh, Alcan. Yeah. To this day, I fucks with Alcan. Like, I love that nigga's old. I like I like the old. I like the old, though. The old of everything. I'm so into it. Like, Alcan was it. Yeah. Had the bangers. Who was that other one that saw you? Una gargola. That's Alcan. You're talking about De La Ghetto? De La Ghetto. But, there we go. Yeah. He was it, too. Ooh, you used to play that. That Sensación del Bloque right there. Sensación like, del Bloque. That song was Una it. Morena Latina. Today, if you put that in the club, no, everybody's the, jamming to that. Literally, that song was a that hit. That was a good, that was was a good a one. Hit. So, Damn, guys, man. we just went down memory freaking lane. Literally. Yo, I, I like I wish we could just like have a throwback like event where it's just like just I've a always throwback. Wanted to do that. Like, like for our birthday, I've always wanted to have like a throwback. Well, like not even I don't even want to do like a nineties or like I would love to do like a early two thousands because I feel like growing up that's what was really what was our prime. Mm-hmm. Like you know nineteen ninety nine. 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like, that's the just... Humps the humps like, with the long shirts and the belts in the middle. Everything <laughs> that everyone's wearing now, like, this is what we dead used to rock. Like, my purse right here. Hold on. Let me show you guys from the people who are on YouTube. This right here... That's I, like an auntie... That's like a, one of the auntie purses from back in the day. Like, it really is. No, no. This was, this was literally an easy find back in the day. Mm-hmm. Like, this is what we used to rock. Yep. Straight up, I remember like, my regular. aunt. I literally remember my aunt having that purse. And yeah. now, this bag is eight hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Literally, it's crazy how everything goes right back. Like the Jordans, they all just cycle and cycle around and yeah. around and around, and they just get more and more and more expensive. It's just insane. Like, we just have to start collecting everything that we have now and saving it because it's going to be worth a lot of money in the future. (sighs) Guys, that was really a good little journey down memory lane. Hopefully one day we can do a cool party like that when we get a little more popping. Guys, I want you guys to share your stories on, like, what kind of outfits you guys used to wear. Share some pictures, too. Always have a little, um, what do you call it? What would you call it? Technical no, little, difficulties. No, whatever. The battery was dying with the camera, guys. That's really what happened. But we're going to get into our next topic, guys. We're going to talk about what is our preferred. No, not preferred. How do I name? The, how do I say this? What? This over here. Preferred. Like I wouldn't say preferred. Signs I was we fuck with, you think? Maybe? Signs we don't fuck with. Signs we don't fuck with. And yeah. si- I feel like we should talk a little bit, like, a little bit about signs if you want. Like, not yeah. get really into it, but. So, basically, on Instagram today, we asked our viewers 
What sign would you never date again and why? So do, should we talk about what some of people's responses were first? Or should yeah. we talk about ourselves first? Should we talk about ourselves? I think that we should talk yeah. about ourselves after. Okay. So I have one that says Gemini's for obvious reasons. So now that we have a Gemini here. Who said that? I don't want to say. I don't want to say. Um, I don't want to say nobody's name. I don't want to expose nobody. But Gemini is for obvious reasons. So I don't know what obvious reasons are. So what do you think? Obvious reasons. There's a what lot did, of Gemini's here, by the way. So people said a lot them. of Gemini. Let me read the them thing all. Is have, damn, did they date Gemini's or you guys are just saying Gemini's? Like, that's the thing. I don't know, but I'm going to read them all and then we'll get into a little more. So once somebody said Gemini's for obvious reasons, somebody else says Leo men, they are all, they are all so insecure, manipulative, and never apologize when they're wrong. Ooh. Somebody said, Gemini, that double personality is real. Somebody said, Pisces, they are the devil. Capricorns, because they never answer, they never call back. That was just my cousin Denise. She's just <laughs> trolling because I didn't call her back. Um, somebody said, Gemini, they're really, hold on, they're really selfish and only do things if it benefits them, only them. Ooh. Yikes. Somebody said, You. I don't even know that Ooh. person. You. Oh, like I, you, oh, I you. Know. I don't know. I don't even know who that is. Somebody said Aries because they are because they ain't shit. Damn. Aquarius because they're corny and what? Aquarius because they're corny chameleons. Oh, wow. I can't read. Somebody said Gemini biggest liars ever. Somebody said Capricorns. Yeah. Y'all cap all, all day. Wow. Capricorn traumatizing experience. Capricorn. Just Capricorn. And then Virgo way too emotional. Wow, so we have mostly Gemini's, and then I would say Capricorns, and then we have <laughs> that's crazy that you're and, a Gemini and I'm and a, Capricorn. She's a Capricorn. Like, and people don't know that. I don't sit there and tell the public no, that I'm a Capricorn, no. I mean, and that I'm a I Gemini. Do, I'm but then birthday. people be like, "Are you a May Gemini or a June Gemini?" I'm like, May. people got they're too like, technical with and the they're signs, like, "Oh, man. you're good. You're the good Gemini," and I'm like, "What's the bad Gemini?" Damn. Whatever. So, yeah, we have, I didn't, I, I didn't even expect, to be honest, guys, I didn't even expect this, this much response, because I feel like when I put these polls up, I don't even get any. I have two, I, one just said Virgo with no explanation, but somebody else said Aries. Oh, we got Because they're self-centered, so they talk, up, they talk about themselves a lot and rarely feed into, into you. So, do you know any Aries that you feel like that could relate to? You don't have to say names, obviously. That can relate to what? Like that, that sound, it, it can sound like what that person <laughs> said. So I have one that says Aries that says, where is it? Aries, because they ain't shit. And then what's yours say? And this one says Aries, self centered. They talk a lot about themselves and rarely feed into you. So have you, like, do you know an Aries? They don't have to be, like. Um, yeah, like, I do, actually. Like, really close. And I don't think. I know two different Aries, and mm-hmm. like my dad is an Aries as well, and I, don't know an Aries. I can say Aries are very caring if they're into the person, but mm-hmm. if they're not, I don't. I believe they wouldn't. They don't care. You yeah. know what I mean? I that's all I know, and that's what I get from Aries. Like if they're really into you, they'll really care for you. Um, but when they're not interested, they're not interested at all. That's all I know. Like my dad's an Aries, and my dad's very. I don't know. I know a lot of Aries and Gemini's and Aries kind of like are compatible. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if he's self centered, I'm self centered. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I'm saying, if I'm dating someone, oh yeah, you know. So, I don't know. I don't. Know. I I don't think I've ever dated an Aries. I don't remember if I did. Uh, no, I didn't. I don't. I don't. Ha- I don't know nothing about them. I know nothing about Aries. Like zero. Yeah. So zero. Aries are very. They're very um, motivating people. Mm-hmm. They say something and they do it. Period. But they're very Aries. stubborn. They're very selfish. They're very they're assholes, and that's one thing I can say that is the truth about Aries. Because mm-hmm. my dad's a asshole, and the person that, that guy, you know, I don't want people in my business is you know gets a little bit like a becomes a little bit of an asshole, mm-hmm. and you know, and Gemini's are just like fuck you. Right. That's just who we are. Let's and talk like, about Gemini's. Let's talk about Gemini's because we see a lot of Gemini's here. So it says Gemini's for obvious reasons. So tell me what the obvious reasons are, what you think. I don't know. I think that the thing is that Gemini's is just hard to have them interested. This is just for my personal experience. 
obviously I can't talk about all Gemini's because mm-hmm. we're all different. We all grew up differently. So that all has to do the part. Don't just go based off like that. That's just their sign. But people say I'm a May Gemini and, I, and, that, and I'm different. So I don't know what the difference is. I guess I'm more calm. I'm more like relaxed. I know so many Gemini's who are very just chill people. Mm-hmm. Um, but dating wise, when it comes to dating wise, Gemini's like excitement. We mm-hmm. like to be excited. We like to be just everything needs to be like a rush almost. And yeah. if it's just like we get bored easily, do very, believe, very easily. Do you believe that Gemini, that double personality is real, is real? I think I think yes, because they can adapt to any situation. Because if you look into the Gemini's like horoscope, like mm-hmm. they're pretty much they, they, they can talk their way into anything. So they talk their way into getting whatever the fuck they want always Period. it depends on what person it doesn't it doesn't matter so that's where i think people get confused because yes i'm as you guys know me i'm this all this you know what you know about me mm-hmm. but like i have a completely different side from me that like nobody knows that's mm-hmm. more of like on the wild side and mm-hmm. it's just like you know that's just things i like to keep private and i think that's pretty much like a gemini trait yeah but Capricorn, they said Capricorn. Why do you think they say Pac- so Capricorn? So I feel like nobody gave a, pers- a specific reason. It says, Denise, my cousin Denise, I'll say your name, because I know she only said that because I didn't call her back yesterday and I was supposed to. So she doesn't count. And then Capricorns, y'all cap all day. That's my messed up. Capricorns, traumatizing experience. Nobody has really said really why, but I am very intrigued as to why. Damn, traumatizing. Traumatizing. Like, that sounds damn. terrible. Damn. I, I feel like Capricorns can, can get very emotionless, that's for sure. Yeah, but that's for sure. All I, I don't I feel like I don't know much of the relationship side. I just know about the just personal side. Like just I know that money, a Capricorn trait Yeah, is money driven and is like working is a, like a huge priority. Like m- making moves and hustling is like a Capricorn trait. Like I rather work than hang, pretty much. Right. Like I don't I'm not that type of person I'll be like Oh, um, clutch, they closed. I'll be like, clutch, they closed, but, like, who's paying? But, like, maybe maybe the thing is that, like, it's horrible because maybe, like, Capricorns, like, they're just so yes. busy and they're just perfectionists that sometimes, like, if they're into somebody, they truly would, I like... I prefer to work. That's you, true. Like, it's not even that you prefer to work. It's more like this is just what has to get done and the other person is just not understanding that this yeah. is, like, high priority. Yeah. But one mm-hmm. thing I am going to say... That, before we continue with Capricorns, Gemini's though, Gemini's when they're in love, yikes! It's spooky. Yikes, as in it's spooky. Like you it's not spooky. Crazy, it's like not crazy. Like me personally, hard. when I love, I love hard, and that's a Gemini thing. When somebody grabs a Gemini's attention, like yo, I feel like I have that too. I feel yeah. I think Capricorns are might be similar to yeah. that too because if you're always so busy, you know what I mean, and it's just like if that person you stop doing if, certain yes, things. Yes, if somebody actually gets my attention, is because like I'm really into them because I prefer to work and to to do stuff that's gonna help my life than to sit there and hang. Like I ain't got time for that. Right. You gotta you gotta really have that in you. So right. yeah, that's something we both have. I know something we both have. I just like to I, be. I be ex- a little I, obsessive. I'm not gonna lie. Like I. When I'm in love, like, yo, that's all I see. That's all I want. Like, that's mm-hmm. who I care. Like, so, I, I don't want nothing else. I, I, I'll i do anything. Like, I, I it's, it's just you. Like, I mm-hmm. don't care. I don't care. Like, and not anything as in I'll freaking sit there and go on my knees. Anything as in, like, no, we're not. I feel like we both have this straight. We're not embarrassed to, like, just be like, oh, I miss you and I want to see you right now. Yeah, I As to other people just have mad pride. I think that's corny. As to other people just have mad pride and just can't keep it a stack. Like, I like to keep it a stack. If I miss you, I I miss you. you. If I hate you, I hate you. If I want to be with you, I'm going to say I'm going to be with you. I know that I'm going to do everything in my power to say what I feel rather than to just leave the relationship and be on some, well, I I ain't going to be cold slip and look at, like, no softy. Like, I don't care. I truly don't. Like, grow up. Me either. That's just something that's just, yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure, I have to communicate how I feel. I don't give a fuck. I yeah. do. Have you heard anything about Aquariuses? I see. Oh, Aquarius, crazy! So Aquarius are very intelligent beings. Let me tell you. I don't know nothing about um, Aquariuses. I don't know nothing about nothing. Clearly. So, like, some of the most creative signs are Libras, Gemini's, just people who are are, are ambitious and do stuff. Mm-hmm. Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries. I don't really know much about any other sign. Like Taurus, I don't really know much about. Yeah, I don't but know I only know um signs that I'm compatible with, and I'm compatible with Libras, 
compatible with Aries, Aquarius, um, Leos, and they're all pretty much signs that always do stuff. Mm-hmm. And and that's kind of crazy. That's kind of that, cool. like, Yeah, that's kind of crazy now that I'm thinking about it. Like, they're all very, like, driven, like, creatives. Mm-hmm. But um, Aquarius, I dated one Aquarius, and just blocked. Just not oh, <laughs> Just blocked everywhere. Not blocked. Everywhere, because they're fucking crazy. So, it's so, so from a 1 to 10, how do you think, how, how would you rate their crazy? 10. Oh, wow. Jesus Let Christ. Let I've no, never no, no. dated like, uh, an Aquarius. I ain't know shit about Aquariuses. Because, guys, I like my life to be very private. That's just how I am. But, you know, I like to throw in little hints or whatever. But, mm-hmm. you know, I posted me and, you know. And literally this person's blocked on Instagram. I get a freaking hit up through text. What they say. So why, so why you block me on thing? Why you blocked me? I think you could have just told me you had. Oh, like nosy. first of all, you're blocked on Instagram. So oh, huh? so he got a fade. So how are you peeping? Oh, it? my boy got a fade. I said nah, I gotta block oh, this shit, shit. Uh, through text too. I can't have this crazy, oh, wow. crazy, crazy. That is crazy. Kid. That, but that's like that's if you think about it too. That's kind of like a very determined person. They date. That's that goes into what kind of what we said. That does sound crazy. Oh my god, are we crazy? <laughs> Cause he don't. He clearly didn't care. This is what I want. This is what I'm into. And I'm going to just keep it a stack. But I looked at you from a fake page. But to page. be the same person to be like, I don't I don't want all this extra stuff. Like, I don't want a relationship. Yeah, that's, I don't that's want a little this. crazy. But then, so, so then the minute that you're like, I bet. Because this is the thing about Gemini's. You tell them one thing. You say, you say, I don't, I don't like you no more. Trust me, we're going to try to fight and fight and fight mm-hmm. and have an understanding on why. Like, I want to know details about why. That's, but trust I, me, I, the I minute can, that it clicks there. in my head is over. Who are you? Yeah, I can agree with the I like I just feel like I want to have an explanation. Me too. I just I mean, yo, hurt my feelings. Yo, hurt my stab me. Please stab me. Hurt my feelings. Tell me the fucking truth. truth. Don't leave me in the air. Just yes. tell me the truth. Hurt them because obviously I'm not going to die and I'm going to get over it eventually. So I'd rather know the truth than to be lingering with all this fake talk and all these butterflies and roses in the air and rainbows. Just say the freaking truth so we can all move forward in our lives. Like, it's not hard. Just move on. Um, But, you know, that's kind of hard for people. But Mm -hmm. let's get into this. What's the worst sign you have ever experienced and why? Um, Aquarius, just pretty much the the story I was saying, like, so, you know, I was dating this Aquarius person and, um, everything's good. Everything's perfect. Like, wow, wow, wow. Boom. Just one day randomly. I don't want to do this. Huh? Oh, wow. That's just like, it sounds very similar. I'm like, so. whoa, where did things go wrong? I didn't even see this coming. It went from one day to the next. Like, what's going on? I was lost. Very Thank God I wasn't weird. in love because I would have been like feeling like, like shit. What? <laughs> but, you know, I still was like, damn, what the fuck? Like, shit was good. But God does everything for a reason. Because thank you, Jesus. <laughs> um, you, when you don't understand shit, you know, shit but now that's you, that one of Jesus. those things that you didn't understand. But like, I, I didn't understand. fight it. Like, I dead ass didn't fight like, it. Like, all right, bro, like, bet. Weirdo. God's like, nah, I said this person's not for you. This person's not for you. Wow. Um, but freaking just randomly and like, you know, we would go through this whole back and forth. Like I wouldn't talk to him at all. And he would hit me up freaking randomly ta- expressing how he feels. He dead ass said fucking happy Thanksgiving. Like I will never forget oh, yeah. that fucking text. <laughs> you know, when you send those what text messages, like them, honestly, when you send those <laughs> <laughs> happy, um, what's that day? <laughs> Happy, not Valentine's Day. Like, what's the other one? Happy Easter. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Happy Easter, but I was thinking of something else. Like, it's like one of those holidays that really only the people, like the Irish. Oh, happy St. Patrick's. Yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. Like, come on, man. You know you don't even celebrate that. You know, know, like, when it's like holidays like that, like, I feel like (laughs) reasonable <laughs> ones would be like you know like happy new year or merry christmas yeah. at most but when you say them with the happy st patrick's day it's like all right what you want nah, man. what do you want what do you want what do you want what do you need something do you want to just talk you want to just you could have just said hey how you doing 
But those are embarrassing. Jesus guys, Christ. you guys are really getting into my life, and I'm very private. Everyone knows I'm mm-hmm. very private. I, but this is something I don't give a fuck about. So, so we have a we have Pisces. Have you ever have you? Do I don't know, know anything, anything about, Pisces? about yo. Pisces is probably the only sign I don't know shit about. I I heard they're the worst sign too. Really? They go hand in hand with the Gemini. Yes, I feel like a lot of people. Let me see. Let me if I put it in Google, what would Google I give me feel for the like? Worst um, sign? the only thing I know about Pisces is that they're very friendly. As at least what a Capricorn they are. I know Capricorn. I mean, I know Pisces. Um, I know Pisces as friends. I've never like in, in, like had an encounter with them, but Pisces as friends, I feel like they're really good friends with Capricorns. That's all I know though. I, I don't know shit about nothing, clearly. I thought I knew a lot more, but I don't. What do you see there? Anything good? Um, It's just giving me worse signs to date. And what do you see? Let me see. Worse sign to date. Damn. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Ooh. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra. I don't Scorpio. hear a cat. Oh, no, wait. The Capricorn. I think they just have all of them. They have Forget all of them. It. They I have all ranked, of them. Though. I think they're ranked. They're ranked. Aries is like 